she was like, we have to call the police. And I just remember looking at the woman that was um, next to me and I was just like, call the who? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I decided to do a Q&A since a lot of people were texting me and asking me, commenting, whatever, to do one. And I also personally wanted to answer your guys' question. And so yeah, I'm sorry that my hair is tied up. I usually have it down, but my hair was not working with me today. And uh, I had enough of it, so I just tied it up. The first question is, what's your full name, age, and birthday? My full name is Ingress Isabel Ramos. 16 years old. I was born October 7th, 2002. Where are you from? I was born here in the United States, Maryland, but both of my parents are from Honduras. So I'm half Honduran. What's your biggest fear? Uh, I think my biggest fear has to be death. I know it's weird, but um, I'm not, I'm, I mean, it's weird because I'm scared of what's gonna happen after I die. I don't know if you know. I mean, nobody knows what's gonna happen after you die, so that's what I'm mainly scared about. That's my biggest fear. What's the name of your pets? Okay, so I have um, I have three cats. The oldest one is named Leo. Uh, it's my baby, Leo. The second one really doesn't have a name, but we just call him. We usually go by Shadow or Moonlight or other names. Um, what is the dumbest reason you've cried? This is so funny. <laughs> But it was um, one time I was in a car with my ex-best friend and I was texting my boyfriend and I don't remember exactly what I told him or what I said to him, but I know that I said, I love you. And he said, I love you too. <laughs> and that triggered me, it made me sad. I don't know why, it's because usually me and him say I love you more instead of I love you too. So when he said that, I was like, oh, what the fuck? And I started crying. <laughs> it was so funny. Um, I know it's dumb, but you know, it really meant something to me. It was really sad. What's the longest relationship you've had? Uh, my longest relationship is the one I have right now, currently, three years and six months. When do you plan to have kids? When did you start doing makeup? I started to do makeup, well, I have done makeup when I was like 14, but I was never good at it. Like, it came out bad, like really, really bad, like horrible, I didn't know what to do. Even though I did watch videos, I did not know what to do. But then I remember the first time that I put makeup and from that day on I started wearing makeup regularly is a New Year's Eve when we were trans what the fuck am I saying? We were going to 2018. I did it, I did my eyebrows and I just put lashes and foundation. It wasn't great because obviously it was my first time, but um that's when I started and I started practicing more and more and more until today. Today is my makeup look, I don't know if you can see it. But who do you miss the most? The person that I miss the most and will always miss the most is my uncle that passed away. Uh, if he passed away when I was around, I wanna say eight years old, he was like a dad to me. So that's the person I miss and I will always miss. Would you save the life of a homeless and why? I would save the life of a homeless because first of all, it's a human. No shit, Sherlock regardless so i will save the life of a human no matter what if i can if i can i will obviously try and do it and i don't know why but i have such a like soft spot for homeless i usually have a soft spot for homeless uh old people and babies and animals oh my god animals like if you ever like mistreat an animal like you should honestly die uh, okay um first thing you noticed about people how they act and that's the most important thing for me. If your your vibe connects with my vibe, then we can be really good friends. Trust or love and why? I think the most important thing is trust. I suffer a lot from like trust issues, I know, but like if you don't trust the person, it's gonna be really hard to love them. I don't know if that makes sense, but like, you know, 
I may love a person, but if I don't trust them, then what's the fucking point? Because I'm hurting myself, you know? I'm hurting myself by not trusting the person, always having doubts, hurting myself, crying myself to sleep. Only because for a person I don't love. So if I trust the person, then that's the most important thing to me, personally. What's your height? I am 5'4 or 5'5. Five five. I'm not sure. I haven't gone to the doctor yet. But I think I'm between one of those two. Last time I checked, I think it was 5'4. I don't know if that's like regular or normal for my age but yeah ever stolen and gotten caught okay this is a little story time but this was one time it was a long time ago i was dealing with somebody i can't say who obviously but i was dealing with somebody at macy's we went to the dressing room we put on what we were gonna steal because you know yeah it was a lot of it was big things we left the store and the little thing the little I don't know what they're called, but by the door, they didn't ring, so I was just like, that's what I gets me nervous as hell, is those little things, if they beep, and then they're like, and like the people that are in the counters or working there decide to check us, I was like, we are fucked. But it didn't beep, so I was like, you know, yay, another spot that was done. But I was wrong. While we were walking down the stairs, the electric stairs, uh, to leave, mine, I tell you, bro, a guy, it was a security guard, I think, tapped I don't know if it tapped me or the other person. I think it was me. They tapped me. And then I looked back and then they were like, Surprise, motherfucker. Can you please follow us? And I was just like, we're fucked. So then we followed the, the man and um, obviously it was very embarrassing because people kept staring at us. They were like, they obviously knew something was up. Like, you know, because we were going into their office and I looked scared as fuck. I did because I... It was the first time I ever got caught. And obviously I was scared that my parents were gonna find out. If my parents was gonna, were gonna find out, I was gonna get the ass beating of my life. So I, I was calm, I did not cry, I was calm. As the moment that I saw that the, it was a lady, she was really rude, but I mean, it's understandable because we were stealing, but she was pretty rude. She was like, we have to call the police. And I just remember like looking at the woman that was um, next to me and I was just like, Call the who? And then they were like, we're gonna call the police. I started to cry like a little bitch. Like I started to cry. And then and then I was like, no, please, please. Like I started begging and then not like that. Like I didn't like like go up to them and start begging. I was just like, oh my God, like, please, please. I, mm, I hope my mom doesn't find out. They took our pictures. We're not allowed to go back, but long story short, the police did come. We did get yelled at. We did get banned. Uh, but they didn't call my mom. They didn't let my mom know. So that was a good part I did not get an ass open and I kept it quiet till today My mom does not know what happened and she will not know what happened because she will not see this video Ever laugh at the wrong time. I always laugh at the wrong time. I think the time that I mostly laugh is when my mom is about to like beat my ass She hasn't done this in like a long time but like usually, once I got older, obviously when I was little, it did scare me, obviously I was a little girl. But as I grew up, and I think it was in middle school, it was in middle school, uh, she came and she hit me, I think because of something, I don't remember what it was, I think they called it a home or something. I don't know if I was skipping or I hurt, fought somebody, I don't know, I don't remember. But I remember that they called her and then she came and she was like her hand was raised to like smack me and then i went like this and then it was just her face at the moment like the face she made oh my god it geeked the fuck out of me i was just like and then she was like oh te quieres reír and then i was like i was trying to make myself fake cry obviously if i laughed i was gonna get beat up more so then i was just like acting like i was crying but i was laughing at the same time and I do that every single time she tried to beat my ass from that day on. Like every single time. She hasn't tried to beat my ass in the longest. Uh, but when she like yells at me, I find it hilarious and I will laugh. That's for me, that's the funniest thing ever. Do you talk to your cats? I do talk to my cats. I talk to my cats all the time. When will you make a video with your boyfriend? Um, I don't have no videos planned with him because he is a very, um, like, he likes to keep his privacy. He doesn't like to be shown off. I don't know if he's scared of the camera. I don't know, but he just doesn't like to, it probably will change or I don't know if he wants to later on. Um, 
but for right now, nope. What's your favorite color? I have a lot of favorite colors. I think I have three favorite colors. I like um, black. I like my lipstick color. I don't know what kind of color this is. Um, but it's like a brownish, brownish um, tan. I don't know how to say it. But I like this color a lot. I like that color a lot. And I also like gold, rose gold, rose gold. Those are my three favorite colors. My last and final question is, what will your channel be about? Um, you see, I don't really know what my channel is going to be about. At first, when I started making YouTube, I thought that my channel was going to be about makeup because that's what I love to do. I love to do makeup. But I'm going to be like, not no beauty guru. I mean, maybe, but like, you know, have more interesting videos out there. I'm probably want to do challenges, uh, makeup tutorials, because I had people ask me to show them how to do your eyebrows or how to do lashes, how to put on lashes, but I don't know yet because you see, I'm not a professional makeup artist yet or like really good at my makeup, like it's okay, like I'm still learning a lot, but I'll probably, you know, post videos about that. Uh, do videos like this, Q&A, maybe, what I really, really wanted to do is testing out, you know, makeup products like you know those little challenges they have with makeup or just challenges in general and that's what I want to focus so um, I guess my channel is going to be a little bit about everything a little everything in there I'm um, be fun you know because I am fun but yeah I hope you guys like it and um drop comments I don't know tell me what other videos I should do because I have no idea what to do next but Besides that, make sure to like and subscribe and um, follow me on all my social medias. And yeah, I love you guys and I hope you enjoyed this.